These prices are outrageous. Wait until you see some of these prices. Thrift with me. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies. Okay, so some of this is that Lululemon brand, but some of this is not even, like, this is self-esteem dress. Like, not even, like, a high-end dress, and they had a crazy price on it. The Lululemon, yeah, okay, I get it. Like, it's expensive. People like it. North Face, all this stuff, and again, just $30, $40, $25, I mean, reseller prices, really, in my opinion. If I bought this, that's probably what I'd be lucky to get. And some of the brands weren't even like anything fancy that they had priced with these ridiculous prices. That was an Eddie Bauer. I don't know what this brand is. But they've got $20 on it. Crazy. Crazy. There's that self-esteem dress, $40. It's not even, I don't even think that's a high-end brand. Like, I think that one's Lululemon. Anyway, no, that's some other off-brand. Maybe they thought it was. North Case, that one's defective and they've got 15 bucks on it. So, Vineyard Vines, $35. I don't know what that brand is, but they've got 35 on it. A Kuji or a Kugi, I don't know how to say it. I always say Kuji. I think those were current current Elliot's. I think that's a Lululemon. $45, you guys, for a sweatshirt. Oh, my goodness. This is a thrift store. It's about 40 minutes from my house. Ridiculous. And I walked out of this store with nothing. So in this video, I've actually got footage of two different stores. The funny thing is, is I used to shop this store when I was in college. I used to go here and buy clothes for myself. And I was like, I really want to go to that store that I used to shop at when I was in college. Well, here it is. Here it is, you guys. Haven't been here for probably, oh my goodness, I am old. 20 years, 15 years, it's changed a lot. Anyway, so this whole rack says Lululemon, but there's some like Victoria's Pink, Victoria's Secret Pink and other brands. Um, but yeah. $18, $20, $20, and those are all Lululemon skirts. I think I'm saying that right. I've never owned any of it. I've never bought any of it, but I was just going to give you guys some comparables here. So here's some skirts that are currently um, undersold on eBay. I mean, you can see some of them go for 50, 60 bucks, and these are all pre-owned. I did narrow it down to pre-owned, but let me show you something else here in a minute. These are the high solds, all right? I just looked up skirts. Look at the low solds. 10, 7. I mean, some go really cheap on eBay. So the thrift store is more expensive than eBay. All right, so I went over here to like their glassware and stuff like that. That was a Fitz and Floyd, but do you see this black marker on the side? I think I show it here. Yeah, black marker. They write everything with black marker. So strange. I probably could have looked that one up. I didn't look it up, though. This is a cute little cup. Maybe I should have got it. But again, they write with black marker on everything. And then you have to figure out how to get it off. So I was not a fan of this thrift store. I'm not. I don't think it's going to be one I'm going to frequent, for sure. This is where I saw a butter dish that I almost bought, but it was like five bucks. And I was like, nah. All right, so this little thing is in a Snow White box, but it's Bambi. And I will say that if this would have been in better condition, I'm trying to hold my phone and get the bag off, um, I probably would have bought it. Uh, the ears, I don't want to say they were chipped, but they had some paint loss. And this thing was like filthy dirty. And it has like the velvet stuff on the bottom and I was like you know I just don't want to try it I don't want to mess with cleaning it 
And I had looked up comps and some of them weren't that great. So this is the next thrift store. And I'm looking at this shelf here. And they call this like the showcase shelf. And I see this really cute cowardly lion. And it's, um, I think it's called clay art. I can't remember. But it's Wizard of Oz. And I put it in my cart and I'm like, I'm going to look that up. And I looked it up and I was pleasantly surprised. If you guys see these, you definitely want to get them. So this one sold for $61.79 or best offer. It looks like a best offer was taken, but either way, I think it was $7 or $6. I did pay up for it a little bit, but I just really thought it was super cute and the comps looked good. Lots of glassware. I always check, you know, sometimes the teacups, there's a fortune telling teacup, um, I don't know if it's fortune telling, but it's like something like if you put like a tea leaf or something in it and it lands on something. I don't know. Somebody was trying to explain it to me one time, but those usually do well if you see those. They're vintage uh, teacups and they usually have like a design on the inner side, in, the inside of the cup. I thought that was kind of cool. I was hoping maybe it was older, but it looked new. So I passed. And I find something very, very bizarre. It's the store's getting ready to close, and I'm like running through the aisles, trying to hurry, and I find the strangest thing. So you can check that out at the end of the video. Super weird. I'm surprised they even put it out for sale. So weird. So this store was decent. I'd probably go back. But right now, what I'm trying to do is just go to a bunch of different stores that are in Columbus, Ohio, which is about 40, well, I would say 30 to 30 minutes to an hour, depending what part of Columbus I'm in. So they had some jewelry and some watches. And this store is called Thrift Store. And they had newspapers for sale. I think they were $3.99 each. So this thrift store is on to that. You know me, I love looking at the toys. All right, I'm getting ready to find something kind of kind of funny. I almost bought it, but I didn't. Here it is. Donald Trump. It's a Donald Trump mask. So I almost bought it to resell it because he's still got the tag in. But I looked him up and comps, I couldn't find the same exact one. And comps weren't great and there seemed to be a lot listed. But these are some of the solds. But again, none of them looked identical to the hat. And it was just kind of a cheap hat. But I thought it was kind of funny. And nobody needs to get political. It's just a Donald Trump mask. It'll be okay, guys. All right, what else did we find? We're going to move on over to the Christmas stuff and the Easter stuff. I love looking at the different um, holiday items like Halloween and Christmas and Easter. If you guys have not seen my Bolo category videos for those items, like I have a video that's all Christmas Bolos. I have one that's all Easter. I have one that's all Halloween. Um, I have Valentine's Day. Go check those videos out. Those items sell all year round. This is super cool. This brand, or whatever it's called, can definitely be a bolo. Um, I'm going to show you some solds right now. Look at some of the prices that these go for. Absolutely crazy. Now, these are bigger than the one I have in my cart, and they look to be nicer. Um, I had this in my cart. It was $5. I was going to buy it and I was in the checkout line and I pulled it out and I looked at it and the candles were melted all over it. So I decided to put it back. Again, all I love checking this section. It's one of my favorite sections. I love selling vintage um, holiday items. I've done really well with Christmas items. As a matter of fact, um, earlier tonight, I sold a, I think it's a tree topper. It's either an ornament or a tree topper. Okay, here is the really bizarre, weird thing. What is it? Why is it in the store? 
Who would donate it? Why didn't... It's just odd. It's just a very weird thing. So thanks for shopping with me, guys. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.